Hey guys, this is Nick from Django FX, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the constant node in Vector Agent. So if you right click inside the node graph menu, you'll see that we have a uh, zero input called constant. Zero input just means that there's no input on the left side of the node, it only has an output. Uh, one input you know, means that it can take one input, and two inputs means it can take two inputs. All right. So anyway, so if we double click constant, we can see that uh, the vectors are currently pointing in positive y. Uh, the reason for this is that all of the vectors in this are constant. They all point in exactly the same direction at exactly the same length. So if we change the direction to 0x, y1, z1, we'll see that they slant halfway between y and the z-axis. Now if we change the y to 0, we can see that the vectors all point up. And so now it's one of those things where we say, okay, well, how can we use constant? Well, one of the cool things is, is you can also make everything equal zero. And so now you can use this as a multiplying factor towards a different type of vector field. Just for instance, we're going to go into some nodes we haven't learned yet, but let's just do a select and then um, we'll do a random. And we'll plug these two into each other. We can preview the random, we can see that's what it looks like. If we double click the constant, we can preview it and see that it has nothing in the field. If we preview the select, there's nothing here yet. And so what it seems like is we actually need to swap these two and you'll see why. And so now the random is what is being uh, deselected. And so now if we change this to a sphere, we can now see that we have a spherical selection and what is selected is the random and what isn't selected is what's filled in and so we can see that the constant or the zeroed space is filling in for the unselected random node and so within this we can change the size to say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and that's a little too low so let's do like 0 0.8 in each and now we can see that we have a vector field that is on or sorry particles that are unable to escape the box because they no longer have any uh, forces acting upon them so that right there is just one way to keep particles within a bounding box and you can do that with the constant node and basically it is a selection uh, modifier and so you know because I don't see too many uses for having uh, things go upwards like this, but it's really useful for zeroing out the vector field and using it to select or multiply or add to. Uh, it's, it's a pretty useful node. That's basically it. That's how constant works. And if you have any other questions, just leave a comment or down below and uh, we'll try and get back to you. Thank you.